speech language therapy. I put out a weekly video on speech therapy topics and this week I wanted to talk a little bit more about swallowing disorders. So I have some pretty extensive videos on what swallowing disorders are, what they look like, and some exercises you can do and postures you can use to keep yourself safe when swallowing food. But this week I wanted to make just a really quick, easy to digest video for caregivers. So basically dysphagia is swallowing disorder. Now you can have a swallowing problem in a lot of different areas or phases of the swallow, meaning you can have a difficulty with the preparatory phase, which is getting the food to your mouth adequately. You can have difficulty with the oral phase, which is being able to chew up the bolus, to maintain it, to get it out of your cheeks and swallow it fully without any of it remaining. You can have a problem with the pharyngeal or laryngeal phase, which is having all the muscles work adequately to get it down the right way and not get stuck in any pockets and not go down into the lungs. And there's the esophageal phase where it's pushed down into the stomach. Now there are a lot of different types of people who have trouble with swallowing and if you work with people who are older or have neurological problems or if um, it's someone that's in your family, I wanted to give you some quick tips to look out for because I work with a lot of people with dysphagia and I can't tell you the amount of times I have talked to a family member who says, oh, mom is fine, she never coughs when she eats. And we're sitting there and mom coughs, it doesn't phase them, they don't even see it. So we need to raise the awareness. This isn't normal right so if your loved one every day or once a week you find them clearing their throat to get something out or they have kind of a wet gurgly voice when they eat or drink or they have a little cough when they're eating or drinking those are all signs that the food and drink is going down the wrong way it's either touching the vocal cords and being expelled back or it's going through the vocal cords and potentially into the lungs, which is very dangerous. Now this is especially dangerous with our vulnerable populations, the people who are bedridden or in a wheelchair are not as mobile because their body has a harder time fighting off an infection in their lungs, which is what causes pneumonia. So what can you do once you start noticing your loved one is coughing on their food or they have a lot of food coming back out of their mouth Maybe it just takes them a long time to eat and so they're not eating as well. Well, find a speech therapist because that speech therapist is going to look at what foods they can eat. There's different diet levels and they'll be able to tell you what this person should and shouldn't be eating in the first place. And then they'll be able to tell you um, some postures and other strategies to help that person. Now, you can also have them go to the hospital or clinic and have an x-ray of their swallow, which the speech therapist might refer out for. So I hope that helps to raise awareness for vulnerable populations who have trouble swallowing. If you notice those signs, it's a really good idea to get it checked out because it could save them and their health in the end. Please subscribe and like and comment. I put out a video every week on speech therapy topics and have an awesome